Hi everyone, I'm Nyx and today I'm chilling with The Witcher 3 and I cut my hair off and I'm really proud of it. That, that's everything. Hello, hi, sorry, it's uh, it's editing Nyx just popping in here to let you know I had a lot of issues with this um, with this video. It recorded without any game audio whatsoever so I've gone back. I've gone through as much as I can to try and get new audio so if you notice Geralt's footsteps not quite matching up with his footsies that would be why. Um, I've done the best that I can, it might be a bit funky at times but I also had a few issues with exposure so hopefully that is fixed now. I've tweaked a couple of things. I'll let you get on with it now but I will see you back here in a little while. So I'm currently in Far Corners and I was off to meet Corinne at the Gold Sturgeon which is exactly what it says as the quest. <laughs> However, I want to find the cat lady and I keep I kept forgetting about it um, and I was editing and I remembered I don't know where it is, but I'm going to start checking some houses, I guess. There was a comment that said that it was in, that I could find the crazy cat lady in Far Corners. Because there was a couple of people who were talking about somebody with a bunch of cats that also had a bunch of treasure. I suppose I haven't looked over this side yet. <gasps> oh, this is cute. A little horse. Did I see a notice board thing about that anyway um hello have you seen any cats oh you've got a lot of garlic no vampires here i suppose i'm gonna leave you two to sleep because i feel kind of rude just barging in i think it's fair enough <laughs> They've got a little. Long live Geralt of Rivia, our they hate you too, fat girl. Oh, this is amazing. Oh. oh. Who is that? Okay. Well, him's joining oh. the party, but who are you? Agar. He doesn't want to talk to me, but okay. Um. Wait. This is a really cool area. I want to join the party, but everybody seems to hate me, which is fair enough. Hello. Best not cause any trouble at the end. Okay. Ooh. I found some cats. Um. And a lot of dead mice. Um. I go by. I found it. Oh. 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 Um. 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 <gasps> Do you like me now? Do you like me? Do you like me? They're all meowing again. Oh, no, never mind. I just want you all to like me. I hope that's okay. Oh, they're all my friends. That's so cute! Are you the crazy cat lady? There's so many... Nostrix gather ingredients. What? Oh. oh. Okay, I don't know what that is. Where is the crazy cat lady? Collected verse of Gonzal de Bercio. I've read this one. Wait, why is it sparkly? Julia Kenyon's diary. Consider me intrigued. We sold the artifacts we acquired during our last expedition at the Hraki Bazaar in Sidaris. Made only a modest profit, but a profit all the same. Dicker has come across information about a purported elven treasure hoard said to be hidden in the sewers between Temple beneath Temple Isle. To my thinking, these rumours may very well be true. Why is my mouse on there? <laughs> after all, human cities, Novigrad included, were built. After all, there should be a comma there. Comma there. Why am I? Why am I correcting the grammar? <laughs> after all, human cities, Novigrad included, were built on elven foundations. So why should we not search for elven tre treasure beneath its streets? But if a tenth of what the tale says is true, this hoard contains enough riches to last us to the end of our days. 
Today is the first of Fein. Fein? We are setting out. Our party consists of Ryan, Dicker, Maxi, Miko, and me. The entrance to the underground passages was protected by an illusion. Luckily, Miko is able to dispel it. There truly must be something of value down here. We shall descend deeper. This does not look like a treasury. It is rather some sort of hospital or a laboratory. After this point, the entries are chaotic with many blots and incomplete words. A massacre. I, only I could do nothing. The others dead all. The elves, that was their laboratory and what we saw, it, he. <laughs> I cannot sleep for the umpteenth night in a row. I see them all whenever I close my eyes. Ryan, Dicker, Maxi, Miko. The insomnia is killing me. Oh, did they die? And that symbol, that cat, it stares at me. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Meow. So she's gone mad. There's a cat symbol. That sounds like Witcher, right? Like the Witcher, like the cat school. Is it a cat? I'm assuming it's a cat, like wolf school is wolf. So she's gone crazy because she witnessed a massacre. She saw a cat symbol and now she's obsessed with cats. You know, I feel like that is... Oh, shit! I should I do that? No, no, um, no. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but that must be. There's so many mice. That must be the the cat symbol. Was was the cat school? Woo! Oh, that's really intrigued me now. That's re- <sighs> No, it's fine. I'm going to go and meet Corinne. Oh god, they'll hate me again. I'm gonna go and meet Corinne at the Golden Sturgeon. Oh shit. What level is that scavenger hunt? Always go to the to the menu instead of the menu, you know? Seventeen. I'm only I'm Oh, it's all the way up there. That's far away. Passages under Temple Isle. Oh, that's so intriguing. Oh, that's really piqued my interest. No, no. We'll do some more main quests first. We've barely gotten onto the main quest. In, um, in... Novigrad, so I think that's probably what I should be doing. <laughs> Not getting sidetracked, but in a very soon future video, expect there to be some. Um... Careful, this is Novigrad. Not your back arse, really. It did the, it did the thing again. It did the exposure thing. Why is it doing that? The Ave Witcher. Please hold. Okay, so I have a theory that the overexposure was because my camera was too close to my light. So I've moved it away now, which is why the angle is probably different. And hopefully, I won't do that again. Right, I'm going to the Golden Sturgeon. Yeah. I was hoping it isn't too far away. I like that tower in the distance. I want to go up there. What the heck? What? Orson's henchman. <gasps> Not so rough. I don't want to die. Why do people keep suddenly coming out of the um woodwork and trying to kill me? I don't understand what I've done. I haven't done anything. But... And of the free okay, city so of Golden Sturgeon. Master Claytop, that would be me, has the honour to announce the betting is now, I believe, I see uh, a Fist of Fury. I, uh, no. wave, I don't want to do Fist of Fury right now. It's too out of my... Stop staring, your Stop talking! Um... Where am I going? It must be downstairs. Right? Yeah. Not downstairs. Upstairs? Hopefully. First yeah, it must be upstairs. Okay. Hello? What's 
gonna go in and say hi. Hello, there you are. A dream in here. Never witnessed That's nice. a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. This quest seemed to just like start. There's no lead in. Where's the lead in? I know I was probably meant to go straight from the Sarah's house to here, but. <laughs> Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Hmm. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. Oh. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. <sighs> At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. That's really interesting. Okay, let's do this. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Are we going to live it? Are we going to go back? Ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I don't know any of these. She was there when I died. What? I feel like the strongest memory would be first meeting her. So I'm going to go for that one. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon forest. Happened on a girl there, didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the waters of oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? I'm so glad that I can choose more of them because I want to hear everything. Yes. No need to rush. We have time. I want to hear more. Tell me more. Um, I want to know what this one is. She was there when I died. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Oh. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. Is there anything you'd like to add? Another memory, perhaps? This is really interesting! Yes, there's something else. Alright. Tell me no more than you wish to. Okay, I think I'm gonna do Saved Her Life once, and then, and then continue. It was after her time training at Kaer Morhen. After the moment the when Jennifer first called Siri her daughter. Oh. We'd been separated. I knew she was in danger. I dreamt of her multiple times. I found her at Stiga Castle. She'd gone there to free Yen and gotten herself captured in the process. They wanted to hurt her. I remember fighting side by side with Siri on stairs slippery from blood. It was the first time she ever deflected a crossbow bolt with her sword. Told her never to try it again. These memories, they're intense. Do you wish to continue? I mean, there's one more that I could say, so I feel like maybe it's worth doing? I have more to say. Then please do. Siri was orphaned, 
during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morin. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose, she lost her footing. Caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory, though, is of her coming out of her room one day, wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed. Knew then that Siri was maturing. It was unavoidable. I was lost in the face of that. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. Um... I don't know how much I should tell this woman. <laughs> I'm going to go for the middle one. They call Siri the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she travels between worlds. <laughs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Siri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? Oh, I can still... Okay. I... Didn't... There was a book. There was a book. And in that book, it said something about, like somebody with immense power or something would be able to move between like different ships it's really cool to connect the dots as i go yes i want to say more i want to learn more yeah, there's something else um okay fine she's a child of the elder blood a descendant of bloody falker the rebel burned at the stake the prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. Know when a legend transforms into prophecy? When it gains believers? I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Yes. <laughs> yeah, there's something else. I'm so intrigued by all of this. I Making my brain Siri go. Having trouble controlling her abilities. Yennefer tried to teach her to cast simple spells, and Siri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her, but it was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must yeah. take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Who the? Who's Dan Delilah? <laughs> this is all things that I probably already know and yet all going completely over my head and I'm piecing together the pieces as I go. Um, I mean, she hasn't gone to Triss. And I don't know if she would have gone to Yennefer because she hadn't before when we saw Yennefer in Vizima. I don't know how I remember that at this point. I don't know who Dandelion is. And I think that's why I'm going to choose it. Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Oh. Uh. She knitting. That's really cool. <laughs> I love so that swallow.
Sorry, I love I love his outfit. It's absolutely beautiful. But that was a swallow. Isn't that what Siri's nickname is? In Elven or something? You know, I'm really curious what I would have seen if I'd picked Yennefer and Triss. <sighs> Dreamt of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. How? I know it's an inn. It has a stash in it. The rosemary and thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. With the big empty room that I was like, this seems important. Thank you for your help. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. So do I. What? Go to the Rosemary in Time. <gasps> oh! I... Character. Nope. <laughs> That's my brain to be like, yeah, I want to have a look at characters and to go to the character tab. Um, Currently, yes. Yes, 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 yes. A neuromancy, the magic art of deciphering the past and the future as they appear in dreams. It's difficult for even a highly trained sorceress to master. Those born with the talent, however, excelled it without any formal education. Such was the case of Corinne Tilly, who's, fam who's famous as a dreamer, as such diviners are often known, has spread far and wide. This gifted woman was, could not only dream of past events herself, but also induce revelatory dreams in person searching for direction or answers to specific questions. These abilities proved to be of great use to Geralt in his search. Yes, they did. Okay. Let us go to Rosemary in time. Uh... Right, downstairs. Downstairs. And then... You look familiar. Okay. I look familiar? Ah, cool. <laughs> Off I go. Oh, it's daytime now. Wait, was it daytime before? I can't remember. Maybe I was in there for that long and that's why it's now the afternoon. Okay, I think we're almost there. A lot of just running from one end to the other. I could probably take in the bus, couldn't I? That would have made sense in a big city, but here we are. Mm. Here we are. Easy. Here is the stash. I don't think I, I can go in the back, so... Stinking scadges. All's we wanted was... What? <laughs> Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your arse till you've toes for teeth. Wow. Okay. Get out in the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Sparkly. Local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. Is that more of them? All right. Time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? Sure. With pleasure. Oh, the level five. That's easy peasy. Well, you don't all have to come for me. <laughs> Reminds me of our days of war. <laughs> yeah, almost like we never left Bergen. Told you this place was not good. Oh, what? Ow! Ow! I'm just button mashing, and that's fine. Told you this place was not good. Leg it! Told you to not. I'm pleased. That went well. 
Oh, it did. They treat each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. Something worrying you. You really just said you you look old. Rather not worry you. <sighs> Got some problems. Rather not burden you. Fuck off, Geralt. Need to spill your guts to me now. Uh, ooh, a couple things. There's a few things. Let me guess. Triss? Yennefer, perchance? Triss and I talked. Cleared some things up. As for Yennefer, well... So you found her! Ha! Need to tell me all about it. I will. Some other time. Got something a tinge more important to take care of now. A tinge? Meaning? Siri. I'm looking for Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Mm. Oh. Not good. No. Not at all. But I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem, then. What? Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned as you saw. Expecting to come home to your hot like a boar in some cold ale, and what do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Well, something is sparkling, so I'm going to go for that. But let's have a look at... Oh, oh, oh. Aha! From the finest vineyards, every last one. No one knows the fruit of the fruit of the vine like dandelion. Bommel de... Dear Viscount, once more I would like to convey my thanks for agreeing to grace my son's wedding with your song. Your presence warmed our hearts. Oh. There is a fly in here and I've been ignoring it and I cannot ignore it anymore. Where are you? Sweet notes to which you serenaded us so touched my wife's mother, the Baroness Dublet. Golden Circle's a cold and heartless bitch with tears of tender emotion appearing in her eyes. Hmm. So he's a good uh, singer. What's this? The faculty of Oxenford University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letinov, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts. Keep forgetting he's got that damn fool name. Oh, I see. Anything over here? Oh. Oh. Annual balladry contest. Silver laurel awarded to Master Dandelion. Prince Heriwood himself did the honors. And the feast afterwards to celebrate the laureates. Dandelion taught a swipe. Hmm. Nose is too small. Aye, <laughs> and the sword's too big. And by the by, is that how it's done? Killing a wyvern. <laughs> Technique's not quite right. But you gotta admit, he's doing it with gusto. I like this little interaction. Mm. Oh, that's a sparkly thing. That's the last thing I want to look at. Huh. This is the loot he got from the elves of Dolblathana. Aye. Must have been in a great rush to leave it behind. Hmm. Curious. Okay. What is this? Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. It is? Why? It says planner. Okay. Oh. 
Huh. Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Me Give too. him a chance. <laughs> Might not be that bad. No. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. Uh -huh. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late. The dog. That could help. Hmm. That confused. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps. Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half. You interrogate the ones in yours. So you? Yep, sounds good. Sounds Result good to me. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because? Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Okay. Interesting. I still want to see if anything's changed upstairs. You really put this all back together. Wait. Why is it locked? Why is it locked? It wasn't locked before. It is now. That's very suspicious. And intriguing. Right, read Dandelion's planner. I can do that. Bless you. Assuming it'll be in my uh, inventory. Quest, 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 quest. Look at all this. I still need to give that to Yennefer. Was there a way that I could have given this to Triss? Mm, maybe later. Maybe later. Don't spoil anything. Rose of our tree, like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humus blue. She shunned her lessons in civil tea to swing her dwarf with agility. Charming garden enclosed van v vanilla villa in G Gildorf. Molly, though she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Gildorf villa next to the morgue. Vespula. The timid in looks, no adventure did skip her. My heart melts when she asks, ever had a big dipper? Far corners laundry near the mouth of a pontar and marab... Oh, marab... more. Marabella, though her cries are divine when behind closed doors. Standing on stage, her squawks are drowned by snores. The bits no proper square. Elahal, a figure most rare, her, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes, will be made a fool. Tailor's shop across from the tannery. Okay... So all of them? Whoa. All of them. Okay. Talk to Zoltan. Should that be the last thing I do though? Is there any order to this? Is there any order to this? I'm assuming Zoltan should be last. But I'm not sure other than that. Hello again, I'm back. I'm popping back in again because I didn't talk to Zoltan and it failed that part of the quest and I thought, silver lining to my clouds, I now have the chance to go and actually talk to him before I move on. So I'm going to insert this into here and then I'm going to continue getting the rest of the audio. But I hope that you enjoy and I hope that it records the audio right this time. <laughs> Still here? Looking for something? Ah, oh, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers might have hauled something off for pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Oh, we can ask him about all of the women. Nah, that makes sense. Okay. Well, I suppose I'll start off with Molly. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A baroness within reach and he settled for a chambermaid? 
Danny Lyons is not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. Cute. Okay, Marabella. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably <laughs> better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Oh. Meaning? She had him wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling him Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. She didn't get half of it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool took it as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. <laughs> Poor bastard fled out the window. Wow. That, yeah. Dandelion has some interesting escapades. Okay, Vespula. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Oh dear. Rose of Bar Autre. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs, what Rosa Var Atre named her Guihir. Well chosen, eh? All right. But Var Atra? Her dad happened to be the Nilfgaardian ambassador. He is. You know him? Wouldn't I say do. that. Well. Had a brief conversation with him at the palace in Vizima. Well, then you have a good notion of the kind of bloke he is. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred sword play. We How like Rosa. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common sword master? More than one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. What I like Rosa. Is now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. I, I like Rosa. Elahal. This one seemed like he liked her. A figure most rare. Her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. He does. Uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard would be jealous. You want to take this one then? Nah, you can have her. Aw, oh, thanks. <laughs> Why? You see, elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka straight up. <laughs> you know, I respect that. Thank you for letting me know. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. Okay, so now it's a case of talking to everybody else. And I'm gonna let you go back to to past me, who's actually playing this, and I'm gonna finish recording the audio. So thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Goodbye. Miserable and hungry. Lice. Where are my options? God, they're everywhere. They're... Oh, oh. Oh, that notice board's come back up. Would that be really cheeky of me? Oh, there's one there as well. No, that would be too cheeky, wouldn't it? Would that be too cheeky to do that instead of going and meeting all the all these people? I feel like I feel like I kind of want to go and... simply because I've been recording for almost an hour now, and it would be fun to go and meet all of the different women in just one full video rather than doing half now and half later. I'm going to go and see if there's something interesting going on. If there's not, oh, I go, will... Jarrett. Come on, we need another place to hunker down the night. Well, maybe we ought to try the King of Beggars. What, the... what is going on? Look at me. It's I a look material like a plowing world. beggar to you. And I'm, a material I'm a citizen. Girl. Temporarily short of a permanent dwelling. No chaos. Want to go on looking, be my guest. I don't know what I was saying. Um... I cannot remember for the life of me. Well, well, another freak. Oh, oh, oh up the bridge, up the bridge, up the bridge. This is a cute bridge. Nope, I can't remember what I was saying at all. For the life of me. I can't get in that way. God damn it. Ah. 
Are you good? Oh, I know where I am. Right, I'm gonna go and see if there's something interesting. If there's not, then I will um, start having a look at Dandelion's lady friends. Let's have a look. Where there is a swindler about. Klaus Fetterling. Do I know that name? I've either seen this one before or I've come across Klaus Fetterling and I don't know which one. Notice of the death of Joachim Swan. Swan. Honourable Town Swellers, I deeply regret to inform you about the old untimely death of Joachim Swan. Oh! <laughs> A tax collector who had served our fair city for many years. Ceremony cremation of his remains will take place at the end of the current month. Why do I have such difficulty like reading full sentences, you know? Since Joachim Swan's family did not wish an address to be made known, please address all condolences to City Hall. Please refrain from sending letters of a derogatory nature. Tax collector, huh? No, I don't know what it is. I can read perfectly fine, but for some reason I can't read it out loud. It doesn't, doesn't come out right at all. Portrait artist wanted. Read that one. Say out the sewers, read that one. Lessons in savoir vivre. Which knife should be used when eating fish? Is it fitting for a lady to walk without hose in hot weather? Should a white wine glass be held by the stem by the cup? Anyone aspiring to rub shoulders in Novigrad's high society will receive answers to these and other similar vexing questions for a trifling fee by inquiring with Count Dugar, a world authority in matters of savoir vivre. Beware, haunted house and cheating merchant. To all upstanding residents of Novigrad, hark the words and warning of a loyal fellow townsman. Do not do business with that blackguard de Yonkia. Though his line is held in high esteem and considered honourable, he is himself is a swine and a cheat. He saw me a residence at a most attractive price, knowing all the while the house was haunted. There could be no thought of inhabiting it for an evil spirit torments all who set foot therein. For now the ghost contents itself with rattling and pranks. But who knows what foul deeds it will turn to in time. Let anyone with half a wit, half a bit of wit about them stay far away from said home and never make a deal of any sort with this defrauding de Yonkia. Oh dear. De Yonkia. That's so funny. And how? Bucks some oh. assets from the lands already taken oh. by Nilfgaard. Burn a rainbow? Don't do that. I like a rainbow. I'm so excited. I get to go to Sarah again. I know I should be doing the main quest, but it's perfect, you know? What a perfect little way to end. Ow, don't pull! Well, you wanted braids. But I didn't want my hair pulled. Can't have one without the other. Then I don't want them. Is that Corinne's voice or am I? <gasps> well. Witcher, Witcher. Hello, Sarah. Kareen, look who's come. Huh. Live here together now? Didn't know. Once you told me Sarah had been responsible for my nightmares, I decided to see if the devil's as scary as they paint him. Or her. That's so I came cute. to find not a fiend, but our little Sarah. And I can't say why. But we took a liking to one another immediately. Long ago, to isolate themselves from a world of beasts, humans began building cities. But since beasts prowl within stone walls as well as they do outside them, this did not allay human fears. The truth is, walls guarantee no one's safety. The place where you lock yourself in and lock all else out, that's not your home. Your home is sometimes a place you travel long and far to find. What is going on? That was... What? <laughs> that was such a random. What? Um. Yes. I. That's the second time that it's Boom, come up with one of those like random cutscene things, and it always it's really jarring. It's interesting, but it's so jarring. It's just come out of nowhere like that. <laughs> I want to go and see what this is as well. I'm going to keep that on. 
Oh, wait, wait, no. I thought that was like the, the first thing, the last thing to do. Not... Oh, you, you, game. Oh, I... I feel so cheated. I feel so cheated. That's... I'm sad now. That fish market is chaos. Where is this exclamation mark? Oh, suddenly got very quiet. Never mind. You're right. Now, with the war on, you're daft. Any man will tell you that. Wait. We'll see. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. That's... Oh, wait. That must be the Black Pearl one. But it's different. It's different. To leave this city it's a different somewhere. exclamation mark. <laughs> Sweet thing. Ron Vid's friend. Draw your Mutant. You know how to disembowel. <laughs> Prepare for battle. Oh my god. Broad friends. They all pledge to defend Maid Bilberry's honor too. No, no, no. They defend justice, for it is only fair you face a threesome. Is that so? Yes, for you are a rogue and a oh my cheat, God. sir. You never revealed yourself to be a witcher. I'm gonna fight him. He deserves it at this you point. You never asked, but since you've all gone to the trouble, let's fight. This is Come on! Take him from the back! Ah, you got no chance, mate. That was a way to go. Oh, child. To the most beautiful woman in the world. Time I went back to see. Such is my quest, to wander the villages of this fair land, singing the praises of Maid Bilberry. I shall bring due fame to her unequalled beauty and unparalleled charms. Maid Bilberry is without a doubt the most intelligent, most understanding, and most compassionate of all creatures to walk this, this our imperfect world. I shall immediately and with full prejudice correct any man who dares to claim otherwise, and apparently men who don't even know her at all. The most stubborn and foolhardy of these ignorami shall taste my family blade. Indeed, just the other day I came across a certain gentleman fondling some tart and having the cheek to call her the my, my most beautiful flower. This enraged me so egregiously that I decided to explain the fool to the fool the magnitude, magnitude of his error, but he refused to listen, and when I insisted further, he fled. This truly is a land of cowards. I shall not rest until I've convinced all the locals that they should direct their compliments to Maid Bilberry and only Maid Bilberry. <sighs> oh, you poor thing. I could have told you to go home, but I did say last time, the next time I see you, I'm going to kill you. So I think it's only fair that I then killed him, you know? Well, I don't want this to be a, a short episode. That seems... So I think... I'm not sure how long it'll take for us to, to meet all of the... Got right no. cabbage oh. last night. Head feels like it's full Oh, you know the other thing I wanted to do? We'll see if I could find another way into the sewers. And I'm sure by the time that that this one goes up, somebody will have commented on the last video telling me exactly where to go. Unfortunately, Those I am recording a ahead. So I won't be able to see it, but Look I suddenly remembered there was a way in through the docks where we were with Triss, and I don't, I don't know if that one is the right area, it's the right way into the sewers where the secret quest is. Can't remember where I was. was I think it was by the fish market. Yes, it was. It was here. Okay, I know it was down here somewhere. Hope I could get back in the same way. 
here. Yes. Yes. Okay. This might not be the right way. If it's not, then that's fine. No, it's not. That's really annoying. However, there is a obelisk. It's not here. Oh. Maybe he wasn't a herbalist, that guy. Toussaint, a duchy out of fancy tales and wonder. Blech. I don't want to read right now. I don't want to read right now. Okay, I'm not going to loot this whole house because I don't want to. Way out the front, way out the back. Ooh. Snake next door to it's next well. door to the the herbalist okay so that's not the way in to the sewers there must be some other way to get there but with that being said i'm gonna leave this one here I'm hoping it's not going to be too short and I'm really sorry if it is. I want to go and talk to all of the women in the next video and knowing my luck, it'll be really quick and it won't take very long, but that'll mean that we can get all of them out. I really like the, the dreamer, like being able to go through all the different lore, all the history that, um, that Geralt has with Ciri. Like that was really nice. And I'm really excited to, to meet whoever Dandelion is and maybe find Siri, although I have a feeling that it won't be that easy and we'll have to go to Skellige as well to find Siri. But with that being said, I hope you're enjoying this playthrough as much as I'm enjoying playing through it. Take care of yourselves and whatever the next video is, I will see you there. Bye.